scriptures talk is going to make about you a blessed life that happens that to a man you to attain. who's delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says by his delight is in the law of God. You. And don't and all of them will have to you day and night. He says that when that you man study is like the history tree, of the move of God in Nigeria, by the that was how men like Apostle Babalola were detected. Do not they were not detected when by desire. In every he took season, the eyes of the spirit as you are about listening to me, this message, we believe that your life is going to be that like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your your season will not pass by. You will forever shine. John G. Lake had those we call healing technicians. We have a lot of the condition to, to be qualified so you to, you to be called a healing technician was that for well, starters, when you came, they would give you, you give you a sick body and give you thirty days from us. How many days? You know that whatever Any comes sick body, here is going whether to one leg and the other amputated, that's not the issue. You whatever, whatever allocation reaches you, your assignment is to you. turn that dead body to a miracle. 30 days. If you could not heal that person within 30 days, John Lake will politely tell you, We have seen you are trying, but please go and join the congregation. Very simple. Spokane became the healthiest city in the world because one man but the question is not the impact the question is the transference where is it where is it it was said about E.W. Kenyon great man of faith that that man raised the dead at will raising the dead that we talk so much about was a normal occurrence. Are we together now? There was a time a tractor broke the legs of a farmer and pieces the bones like pieces. Your leg is pieces. And when that happened, the Bible says, well, not the Bible, history says that, um, what's his name now? Kenyon. Kenyon came and just looked at the legs and the bones began you know I, the book of Ezekiel ka, 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 like that the man's leg not gradual healing right there and he said stand up and go away a man a man died during the time of St. Patrick for six months how many months? six months when St. Patrick got there he wrote his signature wrote his signature on the grave and said they should open it. They brought the man alive. These were men who knew the ordinances of God. There are levels of spiritual manifestations you cannot guess. The level of accuracy required to produce that outcome does not allow guessing. Are we together? One of the Catholic priests they were building a cathedral and the wood stopped and there was no money to complete it go and read your history he held the wood and, co and just continued moving and that was how it kept elongating today if a little leg grows out of another people shout around and say how are we sure what a shame on us we have lost a a, a manuscript that was freely given to a generation that made illiterates, ordinary men and women, do business with God. Hallelujah. I had the opportunity to meet Prophet Kobus before I went to be with the Lord. And I remember having a conversation with him. And he was telling me what Lester Sumro told him about what Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumro and some of the moves of God and some of the prophecies that would come in our generation and I was stunned Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Strummer he said look make sure you don't die with your anointing find young men who are serious and transfer it to them preservers of the ordinances of God once upon a time Apostle Babalola was thirsty and there was no water he understood the key and he opened the heavens and water came out of a rock ha. brothers and sisters this is not the realm of trial and error this 
these men were custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom are we together Archbishop Benson Idahosa went round the world as an African no land could resist him I remember one time Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and he got to Archbishop Benson Idahosa and he removed his cap when Benny Hinn touched him he fell under the anointing and he put his cap back he said thank God he was an African that drew you I remember one crusade that they were having together with Benny Hinn and Benny Hinn was praying trying to charge the atmosphere and rain wanted to fall Idahosa came and collected the mic he said rain is falling those who are sick lay your hands there there was no time to waste he didn't ask them whether they had faith or not he understood a system to force their miracle a guy's face was bent and he came to him for healing and he said look up and the guy looked up he said God this is your image if this is how you look leave this man like that <laughs> custodians of the ordinances now some of you it's a shame that some of us are just hearing this for the first time yet this is our spiritual heritage when you start training children from primary school you teach something called social studies you teach them the history of their nation you teach them the advantages of being a citizen of that nation why you are preserving that sense of nationhood we have lost that sense of spiritual nationhood we do not understand the extent and that's why our faith is not strong because we are not familiar with the dealings of God today someone is favored in one month he becomes prosperous and we shout about it we insult fathers of faith for buying just a little land have you not read about Alexander Doe? he was not elected but he was the spiritual mayor of Illinois he built a city single-handedly he was not just a prophet he was a multi-millionaire it was said his wealth was so mysterious people became afraid he built a city well his opinions were had their issues here and there but he built a city with a hospital in it today is still called zion city in illinois you get there once he was 12 on the dot everywhere around the city you had to stop and pray once upon a time Catherine Kuhlman was teaching and someone came into the meeting sorry Maria Woodward Eater was teaching and someone came and was laughing at her and the moment she was laughing at her she said God judge you her tongue swallowed up immediately to be bigger than the size of her head after three days of prayer warriors praying that tongue refused to go down and they advised the person to come and apologize we came before the church and apologized to her she laughed and slapped the tongue it went down in their presence are we together these people it was their life it was not show William Branham would stand for hours and watch a congregation and not say anything because he said he was waiting for his angel to come you say you are seeing angels today they say you are diabolic you collected power from somewhere this guy stood and did not do anything and then eventually all of a sudden a physical wind will start blowing in the church physically and all of a sudden you say here comes the angel and turn and start giving a level of word of knowledge and prophecy that very few people on earth will ever get there there is no mortal man on earth now i know who is working in william branham's dimension of prophetic accuracy they did not have videos to capture their meetings strange manifestations but something happened as powerful as these moves are the children had the opportunity to learn without guessing they had the opportunity to learn without trying with the little dimension of grace that God has exposed to me I've had the privilege of teaching people with a level of accuracy according to what God has given and have watched a reproduction imagine that you were mentored by Smith Wigglesworth imagine he told you what God taught him 
imagine what happened to him when he went to heaven imagine that he told you imagine that you stood side by side with him they brought somebody with a condition called an alligator skin where his skin the top skin had rot and they brought him before a allen a allen looked at him and laid his hands and removed the old skin like that like you remove another hand and a new hand appears and he threw it away Jaco, one of the greatest manifestors of the faith of god i watched this it's not like they told me they brought someone with cancer and he sat down on a chair he looked at the neck he held the cancer and removed it did you hear what i said not that he held it and it went down he removed it everybody see i'm holding it shame on the devil in smith wigglesworth book his own confession that one time a spirit appeared in his room devils appearing in his room and the room was shaking and rocking and he came out when he came out he looked at the parlor and he saw a spirit sitting and he turned back don't waste my time he went to go and sleep not pray not fast not bind sleep i thought it was an angel that brought a message but since it's you satan enjoy the chair and go back this is not i claim i am powerful and uh -uh, this is a settled this is truly the seated in heavenly places mentality we are missing something the little we have been able to capture is what we are bragging with but there must be a system and while we trust god that the spirit of god who opened them up to those portals will open us also to those portals listen in as much as we are trusting god for those dimensions hear me we must start taking cognizance of the system of preserving spiritual heritages do you know the mystery that governs the move of god in koinonia do you know why the power of the holy spirit moves so lavishly it's not just because an anointed man is holding the mic there is a formula will we go with this thing and shine alone and enjoy alone and build empires alone or are we going to translate these things so that someone somewhere will enter another meeting in a city and all of a sudden just holding the mic you are just saying blessed be the name of the lord and you engage that mystery and you watch people rising from wheelchairs you are not if this is not trial and error that you are moving in a dimension of power and grace and illumination preservers of spiritual ordinances let me tell you the truth don't believe everybody is trying this thing there are people who have received as a blueprint the ordinances are portioned to them as a level they know it they can operate it any day any time and it will not fail regardless of what the limitations are you must understand this these things are ordinances they are given it's like a manuscript that the spirit of god gives you you use it anywhere it will work and no devil there is a mystery that casts out devils it's not just go go no to draw from you again again we've come to grow sit down I'm just doing a recap on last week's teaching listen the Bible tells us that the physical things we see on earth are an adumbration 
a prophetic depicting of the way the realm of the spirit works that means you can look at your physical environment and understand how the, the realm of the spirit works now the earth is distributed territorially there is the concept of governance and territory is that true every territory has a system of governance every territory listen carefully has mineral resources this is how it is spiritually God's design and ordination is such that he distributed his dimension to every territory there is a curriculum of God that the men and women of God in every territory must be able to bring down and supply the people in that territory otherwise there is a kind of growth that will never be experienced the reality of having spiritual platforms in every territory where the purposes of the kingdom is not only taught but brought is one of the keys I taught you I taught you last week listen carefully that kingdom advance is territorial although the mandate is global but the approach is per territory so God apportions a territory like Zaria and commits to us and the assignment is he says there is a dimension of me that I want the people who are within this soil to know and understand and then he searches for men and mandates them to align in a way and manner that allows him to reveal that your marking in the spirit is based on how much of that dimension was safely brought and revealed to the people you can know whether God has a system that represents his presence in the territory you can always know you don't need to find out how many churches no you don't need to find out how many men of God no it is a it is a a spiritual way of discerning one of it is the extent of the dispensing of the mysteries of the kingdom and a system that preserves it there is a way our fathers prayed and got results many young people pray but we pray anyhow and pray the way we wanted because nobody mentored us in the art of prayer ah yes we were mentored to spend long hours and dissipate energy shouting but these guys had there was a mystery Elijah was up the mountain and they brought a band of 50 people and he said if I be a man of God Job was frustrated in his life Job said God I need you here and God came what formula did Job use to invoke God and God came the Bible never said God said me God appeared Job you called me the wife of Job said cause God and die that word is mysterious that means there is a code you can speak on earth and die immediately he said cause God and die not that means it's within your power you know the formula for death Job you know it why don't you end your life and Job said no I still want to live please understand what I'm teaching what was the formula there is something that men can say from earth to heaven and their life ends immediately that's what the wife of Job was saying do it and Job said no 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 these are my contemplations these are the things that keep me pursuing God passionately regardless of the little results here and there you must bench yourself by a high standard so that no matter what happens you are you are rated by a standard that is higher than the existing standard in your generation it's not pride it is a simple search to press into a depth of God and deliver to a generation it's not for the purpose of making a name there were mysterious secrets of wealth hidden in the Bible the Bible is full of people who tapped into a dimension of supply 
that we are just trying to learn cities came out of recession overnight those ordinances are still available when Elisha took the mantle of Elijah he struck it in a way that the river divided the river never divided for Elijah or Elisha the river divided for whoever had that grace and that includes you if we stood before the Red Sea today we'll call architects to build bridges those guys say pass that thing and let's go <laughs> if God tells me to ask him one thing I will say Lord please take me in a vision to ancient Egypt I want to see the display of the power of God through Moses I just want to be led like Ezekiel and watch and watch Moses in that temple and watch Pharaoh look at him and watch the the stench of witchcraft and a man comes immune for Moses was not afraid for himself he was on assignment Kai. these people were strange men no wonder Hebrew said the earth was not worthy of them when you mention those we think the earth is not worthy of now we mentioned Mother Teresa Mandela the earth is worthy of them there are people the Bible says the earth is not worthy in other words they did the earth a favor by passing they were not ordinary men when we get to heaven we will see the constituents of their design they only carried bodies that were young there had to be an ancient mystery inside them and the Bible says on the count of that the earth is not worthy of them we shared a few things that would help us let me run through them and then we'll finish up we didn't finish last week and my assignment is to finish it today and then we'll pray that number one the first key to advancing and preserving the move of God in a territory is a system of consistent prayer everybody say prayer and not just random need driven prayer the ministry of warfare and intercession must never go out of fashion if we want to preserve the move of God in a territory the ministry of intercession and warfare now I know that we come from different places and we all have different ideas about warfare and the rest but let me tell you one truth based on the authority of the Word of God the Bible never left us in the dark as to the fact that territories have controlling powers apportioned to them and nobody prevails over a territory until you sustain capacity to subdue the powers that control a territory when you see people thrive in a territory listen carefully it is not because the power of darkness is not there it's because they have sustained a system to keep them at bay are we together let me tell you one big secret about koinonia listen to me if you find yourself in this place that you come and sit down with koinonia half of your miracle has already happened believe me i know this sounds like pride forgive me if it sounds so that you were able to successfully leave your house if god opens your eyes to see the warfare that happens have you not seen people come and sit down and immediately praise and worship starts they feel like easing themselves to go no there are spirits walking behind the scene because someone's miracle is about to come someone's life is about to change all of a sudden a stranger starts calling somebody just when prayer is about to start no sir they are not normal every service in koinonia is warfare that's why we never come into any service casual we start praying from the week the prayer department is praying every department is praying i'm praying everyone is praying and when we come you see the things that the power of god does and you are wondering no satan is also watching he is shocked at how he is resisted are we together you are not going to build that house just because you think you have money when all the economics are ready the realm of the spirit must be taken care of are we together just because a brother sees you and he likes you and you go back carelessly thinking you are fine is a, a joke in this wicked world that we live in 
you lie down to sleep and a strange woman appears to you and say in case they have not told you let me tell you that i've been here for a long time i am the one who has stopped all the 11 ladies in your family from marriage and not even you will do it and you get up and say well it's just a, a a nice dream and you take orange juice and you find out that the day the brother said he wants to see your people his business scattered overnight his life scattered overnight one ear refused to hear and the guy says no i've not even married you and this is happening and he just finds his way quietly but those who understand that every territory must have men and women who settle realities in the realm of the spirit you engage strong warfare and intercession at all times not just when you have a dream about danger sometimes when you have that dream it may be too late the bible says to be instant in season he spake a parable to the end that men ought always 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 to pray one of the greatest assets you can teach your child is the ministry of prayer and intercession that's why i love it when our children join us when we are praying let them join they may be playing and mimicking the tongues just leave them one day you will be surprised to hear that they laid hands on their classmates in the play class the power of god does not care which hand whether the hand is the hand of a young child or a, an adult the moment that hand is aligned the power of god will flow through it are we together number two i taught us that the second key to preserving the ordinances of god in a territory is the regular convergence of believers the regular convergence of believers within that territory believers must have systems of regular convergence for the purpose of training for the purpose of building for the purpose of mentoring and for the purpose of receiving the current blueprint of the spirit he that hath an ear not everybody has that ear let him hear what the spirit saith what he's saying not what he said one of the worst things that can happen to you is to be where god was you must follow him if he moves this way that is your destiny if he moves this way that is your destiny the moment you isolate yourself from him then he's no longer a shepherd and all of a sudden things start going wrong in your life number three an open display of real miracles signs and wonders we cannot preserve the emphasis listen 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 believers hear me this has nothing to do with being called into the miracle ministry if you want men to have memories of the moves of god there must be supernatural manifestations of the power of god beyond the four walls of the church healings and miracles testimonies per second per second that remind people that god is alive are we together someone wants to laugh at god and he just sees a car that should have a ghastly motor accident and god delivered them immediately the person remembers you see him say thank god oh thank god when a when a territory forgets god then there are hardly experiences that keep him in their minds we must emphasize god through miracles signs and wonders and keep people aware of him when you see coca-cola every day it's enshrined in your mind you know how coke looks like educated or not the moment they say coca-cola we all know it that's how it must be so that even an unbeliever outside when he hears people singing god is a miracle worker he won't lie that he does not understand the meaning of that song he may not be born again but we have institutionalized the power of god in a territory it becomes impossible for people to mock god there may be critics but they know the truth jesus walked upon the earth he moved in such dimension of power and grace although the scribes criticized him in the day nicodemus came by night john 3 and said rabbi we know he didn't say i know all 
all of us, those critics, we know the truth. We know that thou art a man sent from God. What convinced them? For no man can do these things. Not say these things. No man can do these things. I write to you all, excellent Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Not teach alone. Do and teach. We're a generation of a performance. There must be a performance. And the performance must be beyond falling down. Results. Results that defy science. Results that create arguments. Results that stops an unbeliever from sleeping in the night. And he sees this. Every time God is revealed, it's a message that pounds in the heart of someone who does not know God. It forces men to acknowledge that there is a God. Because they cannot explain the synergy behind that miracle. When people begin to say there is no God, it is because the sons of light have refused to show them God. Are we together? Remember Paul and Silas and the episode of the jailer. The Bible says they were jailed, tied, hands and foot. And the Bible says they prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. An earthquake came and rattled the entire prison. And then the Bible says that the chains broke from their hands. And the Bible says that while they were singing the praise and the worship, the jailers, all of them had them. I'm sure they were laughing. Stupid people, useless prisoners. You won't sit down in one place. And while they were singing, all of a sudden, there was a physical earthquake. The hands, the chains were bound. And then all of a sudden, the Bible says, all doors were open. And it was time for Paul and Silas to go out. And the jailer wanted to kill himself because he was tantamount to death. And he said, no, you don't have to rush. Calm down. We are here. That man got born again immediately. One miracle will answer 1,000 questions. All these useless explanations we keep giving. Let me tell you, every critic already knows the truth. Explaining to them is a waste of time. You answer by a superior performance of the power, the grace, the wisdom of God. Not to make a name, not to build an empire, but to reveal Jesus. To make him manifest. Number four, and that's where we stopped last week. Intentional mentorship of younger believers. Not young believers, we are young. Younger believers. If the ordinances of God must be preserved in a territory, there must be an intentional system of mentorship that raises the younger believers and it starts right from nursery class, primary school, etc, etc. There must be a system of intentional mentorship. When we have a generation of people who are ignored, do you know by the time an average young man gets to 15, largely he or she their lives have been wrecked beyond repair are we together we must be able to capture people from the ages of these little children and show them God let their lingua franca be Jesus and Jesus only we mentor them gone are the days where people commit themselves to investing in children ministry and young people society has tainted people the moment you focus on children they say it's because you're a young man and in, in a bit to manage that embarrassment of not looking small or a child we have ignored them and satan says if you ignore them and I'm, I'm available more than available there must be a mentorship of younger ministers younger ministers they must be mentored to understand but the only challenge I have with mentorship is that the mentor himself must have an encounter with God. Otherwise, we are going to mentor our limitations to people. It will be a transference of limitations. There are many people, it's because of mentorship, they stop believing God. There are dimensions of God they would have believed. But a mentor created a theology out of his limitation and forced them to believe it and raped their potentials for entering superior dimensions in the spirit. There were people who began to have visions, dreams, prophetic encounters until they met a so-called mentor and he told them it was diabolism and they casted it out and closed the door against the Holy Spirit. Not everybody can mentor.
being in ministry for a long time does not qualify you for mentorship you can be doing the wrong thing in ignorance for many years it's an election of grace god must train people with a track record and a testimony of working with the holy spirit number five the fifth way that the ordinances of god the program of god is preserved over territories is influence 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 god must find people in high places that are in places of influence enough to supervise the policies that preserve god in a territory are we together for a very long time the church has been indoctrinated to resent influence we have been indoctrinated into believing that every time people aspire to rise to prominent positions to sit upon the notable places of several spheres of influence is a proof of carnality so we create we have created a theology that you either be carnal and influential or spiritual and private no sir no sir jesus was a man of influence what is influence the ability to mold your understanding into people without using force the ability to compel people to buy into your beliefs to buy into your your paradigms to buy into your perceptions without using force you use results Acts chapter 10 Acts chapter 18 the verse of emphasis is verse 10 but for reference purposes you can put verse 7 to verse 18 but let's look at just verse 10 for the sake of time help us media verse 10 Acts chapter 18 and verse 10 it says for I am with you and no one will attack or hurt you what is the reason for I have many people in this city there are many people who call upon my name in this city and the fact that I have several people is an advantage to my agenda are we together now that when God has many people in places of influence it was the influence of Joseph or Arimathea that brought down the body of Jesus it was not prayer that brought Jesus from the cross he would have died and remained there on the cross but a man of influence Joseph of Arimathea who had business concerns with Herod told him that look I want the body of Jesus and on grounds of that partnership and friendship he said all right no problem he will be buried in my own tomb influence played a role in our salvation we have entertained a weak and a beggarly church with no voice policies and policies come up from an antichrist government men and women who do not know god neither do they have respect for his ordinances they are the ones that sit in the high places and spirits manipulate them to making life difficult for the church and we are here praying in tongues throwing ourselves from pillar to post and rejecting influence there are two principal ways the kingdom advances one is evangelism two is influence none of them can replace another evangelism and influence the gospel is a message and it's an ideology it's not a message alone the message of the gospel is the revelation of the love of the father demonstrated in the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus and the response of man to that act of love and benevolence the result of which is the life of god imparted into man that is the message of the gospel but there is the ideology of the gospel a system that seeks to enthrone christ and his value systems first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human existence here's the great commission go ye into not go ye around enter a system cosmos the social system the mountains that represent the spheres of influence that govern the cultures of people let me have representations there he says do not be afraid why no one will hurt you because i have many people there 
when the righteous are in power the people rejoice it says when the wicked perish there are shouts of joy when the vice chancellor of a university calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage for the advancement of the kingdom within that territory if the wealthiest man in Zaria calls upon the name of the Lord it's an advantage to the growth of the church I believe in influence I never will reject influence God has blessed me with influential people some fathers of faith some great people connected to this ministry directly or indirectly great men of influence scattered across the military scattered across business scattered across every mountain I will never be indoctrinated to rejecting them because their relevance will show when you want to ward the gates of hell they will come physically through men and God there is only a limit there are certain doors that will never open for you you need somebody already in there who has the purposes of the kingdom are we together there are many cities that refuse to sell land for believers but certain men of influence and certain pastors that God has granted influence will come to that land and a call will come directly. Oga governor, Oga lands and survey coordinator, release 10 hectares now for this church. Their advantage can increase the economy of this land. And all they say is yes sir. May God put someone around your destiny that knows God and has influence. Influence can shorten your journey. All this prayer and fasting we pray out of unbelief is because we are using one system of the kingdom to remedy another. Influence can answer a lot of prayers. Are we together? Influence can answer a lot of prayers. A lot of prayers. God's people must find their way to the high places of life to represent his interest in the places that matter. In the places that matter. Imagine if Michael Jackson ever said Jesus. He would win more souls than many crusades combined. Whether the Jesus was a mistake or it was intentionally so. Are we together? I shared with us last week that Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. They have never packed a stadium for a crusade. They are using one weapon that we have ignored. Influence. 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 We live in a world that is governed by influence. Brothers and sisters, we need it. Whoever has influence sets the rules and forces you to work with the rules. I made up my mind that I will never pastor a spiritual and a weak people spirituality and influence can go hand in hand and that's the template i've chosen so i'll continue to pray for you and teach you that you rise and become great people in ministry here at the level that god has brought us there is hardly anything we want at this level that we cannot get because of the power of influence almost everything we will need at this level is a call away a call away a call away if it's military might, a call away. Are we together? If it's some kind of legal stance, it's a call away. The power of influence. If anybody comes and tries to bully the ministry and oppress the lives of people, God has strategically placed people in areas of influence to do that. Influence is important. You reject it, you will pay for it. Are we together? You reject it, you will pay for it. We need influence every time. We need influence everywhere. If there is an emergency case right now and we need attention in the hospital, by the grace of God, he has given us influence to call some of the highest people that God can grant grace and make sure that we mobilize assistance for people. You see, believers are not taught how to live in a socioeconomic environment. We are taught how to live in church, but we are not taught the wisdom for living. And it is the lack of this understanding that destroys us. A day will come, you will need help. And ministry, the work of God will suffer greatly without it. It will require influence. 
every week you see people here you know um, um, and so on and so forth have people the buses that come from oh, almost if not 100 percent of all the drivers they are not christians but by nine o'clock they come and wait here all of them and they are watching the meeting it's called influence are we together don't reject influence it is when influence is mismanaged that it can destroy people there are people here by the grace of God and with all humility they have gotten jobs overnight because of influence oh how are you sir there are students who had no business graduating but influence took them and they just left because you know somebody that can favor and help them hello sir please can you help a b c d there are people who have gotten admission because of influence there are people who have gotten promotion because of influence the church has become grounded because we have hated and rejected influence and we keep praying the answer leaves the realm of the spirit but the system that makes it manifest influence being one of them is largely ignored we must receive grace for influence hallelujah there are people who have been at the police station and the situations around their lives would have been grievous but because of the power of influence one call officer inspector i'm the one calling a b c d e f g and it's, it's over unbelievers understand this you can catch a criminal a capon take him to prison in two hours one call makes one call makes one call abroad returns one call back to nigeria and the person is out walking on the street and then a sincere believer who loves god but is ignorant of the systems of god is kept and locked god must give us influence in the name of jesus christ god has helped us as a ministry i tell you the truth and i say it without humility god has given us influence and we have we have honored our way into those influence are we together it matters you have influence to the degree to which men rise to remedy any challenges that stand before you it will happen in ministry i remember there was i think a, a few months or so ago or weeks there was someone that wanted to just make some trouble because of the overflow and all of that and before all those troubles will rise people arose from everywhere and said no way no way you are you are a joker we have been blessed beyond imagination that's the power of influence i never had to go there to find out what happened influence Many of you may never know, but there's a gentleman now serving five years, five months or so in the prison. During one of the night vigils, he wanted to steal a car somewhere there. But because we had influence and access to military might, they were caught and apprehended and handled. And I didn't even know. It was the next day while we were on our way to the trip. The protocol department told me, oh, they got intelligence. Let me tell you something. If there is a crisis, God forbid, in Zaria, within one hour we have built a system of immunity we are not stupid people with in less than five minutes whatever needs to be communicated to every koinonia member will reach the person and the relevant structures for military might and influence will be put we are not stupid people we are living in a we will the horse is prepared for battle safety is of the lord but the horse will not sleep you are living in a wicked world don't assume you are not living in one are we together when the devil uses men to rise against you do you have enough influence or are you connected to people of influence that can come and speak the purposes of God hallelujah we must never reject influence brothers and sisters please take what I'm telling you seriously there are churches today who have refused to get land because of influence there are churches today who have never gotten certain opportunities because they have ignored influence. They rejected it, they resented it, and it left them completely. Influence. We go to the bank and by the privilege of God's influence, 
many things that should not be done ordinarily are done to us because of influence if you reject influence you would never never experience certain dimensions of God influence is not just Christians influence is God lifting you to a platform where you can get the loyalty of men you can get the whatever it is that they represent hallelujah the school of ministry students will soon be graduating and while we were trying to uh, prepare for their graduation and so on and so forth they were talking one time about their uniforms what they would wear and one one of the students of the school of ministry is here he just got up and said look i can get you graduation gowns the only reason why they are not using it is simply because there are more students than the gowns can take but influence that's something somebody can be praying for three days and say lord wouldn't you raise somebody no many of the need driven prayers are products of lack of spiritual intelligence influence can answer many prayers do not be afraid i have many people many people many people Could it be that our parents have rejected influence to their detriment could it be that several people across have rejected influence to their detriment influence is powerful powerful I remember when Boko Haram struck Mubi many of them may be listening from here now and all of that destabilized the church the entire church in Mubi everything scattered men of God had to go people were killed and all of that and God granted us the access through the power of influence to be part of those that God is using to bring the church within that territory back next month and back there again. What a privilege to strengthen the believers and call everybody back again and say the purposes of God must strive on this land. That's the power of influence. Are we together? I believe in influence. I am friends to politicians. Talk whatever rubbish. They are Christians. Many of them have gotten born again. Many of them know God and they have the purposes of God. I advise some of them. I pray for them. I'm not looking for their money. God has been faithful. We ignore these people in the name of spirituality. And when there is need for help, nothing happens. I remember, I think it was in Niger State, one of the year, I, I, I don't know, before the, the last election or so. The can people wanted me to go and talk they usually have men of God that go and talk with the government you know and talk with them and the last time they took one young guy the guy went there and did a lot of very naughty things you understand what I'm saying people misuse because they don't understand the protocol of greatness I've had the privilege to advise people high and mighty they love me there are things that influence have brought to my life have brought to this ministry there is no good thing that comes into this land that we are not aware of. There are systems of influence that grant us access to the choices of everything. Please believe in the power of influence. Otherwise, you are going to pay for it in, in unbelievable ways. I've shared with you a humorous story about a young guy in NDA and the Emir of Zaria where the guy wanted to get admission and he failed the test among other reasons they said there was a height requirement to join the nda and they said he fell short by a few inches sorry we cannot take you and the guy got angry and came one person connected to the other and the news got to the emir and the emir said that they should go and tell the commandant of nda that the emir has added the height of that man everybody say influence do you think they took him yes the person may probably have finished now the worthy soldier influence his destiny would have been jeopardized he would have been a farmer somewhere loitering in, in, in all kinds of pain and and doing it they, they, just a little farming the back of his house in pain but influence brought him back to destiny don't reject influence don't reject influence i will never reject influence if god grants me access to great people i will talk to them most of us know billy graham to be an evangelist a dimension of him that is hardly known was that he was an influential man he was a mentor to several presidents of america it was not luck he literally pressed for it he said how many times billy graham will write letters 
to the president and they would turn him down they would throw away the letters but he continued because he believed that he was destined among other things to be an advisor to presidents from today and um, not even from today it's, it's been like that for many years I, I believe every president goes to pay homage to him regardless of what their spiritual orientation is about God is the power of influence will cause men to do things for God that they had no business doing because of influence in the name of Jesus Christ when you go to Dubai you go to China they have never been under pressure to learn English because of influence they speak whatever language influence translates it to those who are the benefactors of whatever they represent Chinese people have never seen I remember one keyboard years ago that my father bought from wherever I don't know where he got that keyboard brought it excitedly at home and said look there's a, a very classic keyboard and I looked at it and it was a toy full of Chinese I looked at everything and I said how in the world are we supposed to I mean there is no, even on you know like English slash China it was pure I'm sure it's one of those things that were just shipped into the country I remember the frustration many times when I'm trying to look for the right voice because I can't speak it that's the power of influence they have not seen a need to downgrade their systems to English because they have value that the world must subscribe to Lord make me a man of influence lift your voice and pray in one minute I covet it the Bible says to covet earnestly I desire it not for self aggrandizement not for the carnality of it for the sake of your kingdom your purposes must be represented not in just in a land it must be represented among great people Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, grant us influence. As a house, we receive the grace. We receive the mantle. We know the value of influence as far as kingdom advance is concerned. And we receive it with all our hearts. Unashamedly and unapologetically, we receive kingdom influence. In business, in finances, in ministry, in government, we receive it. point I'll talk about tonight and then we'll pray the sixth way that the precepts the ordinances of God are preserved in a territory is through an open display of love an open display of the love of God love that is without prejudice love that is without tribalism love that is outside of religion any sect, any movement, any church, any program that does not communicate the love of God to the community and the territory with which it is represented does not have a future. Regardless of the prayer fire, regardless of the mentorship, listen carefully, regardless of the quality of the word the spirit of revelation that is prevalent within that territory if there is no love everybody say love. love not just love for the brethren the bible says to to love all men be good to them especially they that are of the household of faith i have watched the resentment that men of god the resentment that churches and ministries who are benefiting from a territory have towards that territory one of the requirements for being blessed and endorsed by a territory is that there must be a perception from that territory that these people love us and they seek our good are we together demonstrated in many ways but ultimately it must become a culture and a conviction 
I've seen many moves of God even in, in, in recent time across several territories where they have later fought the man of God. They fought the man of God, fought the church, fought everything. You know why? The community does not have a perception of the love. Not just love towards God, love towards men. I watch your life and I see the way you treat non-Christians. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who are not your tribe. I watch your life and I see the way you treat people who did not have the privilege to go to school. I watch your life and I see that although you are a prayer giant, your resentment and sarcasm towards the territory God has planted you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. First, he didn't just send a son to come and get out of the territory. It was love that brought him. If you want to see the purposes of God established and preserved, even through this ministry, we must love our environment. Are we together? We must love the body of Christ within this environment. I've, I've taught us that there may be one, listen to that message, is powerful. There are four encounters I've taught us here that you must have in your life to be efficient. Number one is an encounter with the Lord Jesus. The benefit of that encounter is life eternal, Zoe. Number two, an encounter with the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The benefit of that encounter is leadership, guidance. The third encounter you must have is an encounter with the Word of God, the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Are we together? The benefit you get from that encounter is capacity for legislature, dominion is the resultant effect of your comprehending the mysteries and the systems of the kingdom. But the last encounter that very few people have understood is an encounter with the body of Christ. An encounter with the body of Christ. Not just God, but the body of Christ. If you have not had an encounter with the body of Christ, you remain lopsided. I trust God for when I will begin to write books. I have a book that I'm going to write. The title is Balance. It's a reorientation of the bride of Christ. The book is about the bride of Christ. The wife of the lamb. And the dishonor that has been communicated to her. The scriptural text is jealousy is the rage of a man. I'm giving you a preview to the book. Jealousy is the rage. When you touch a responsible man's wife and claim you love the man, are you not a hypocrite? Yes, are we together? Pastor Alpha, can someone insult your wife and then bow to you? That's a hypocrite. So when you hate his bride and claim you love him, something is missing somewhere. A wounded bride is still a bride. An imperfect bride is still a bride. Yes, we must have an encounter with the body of Christ. I was sharing with a dear friend, he's seated here. We're having a little discussion in the afternoon. And I was just talking to him about the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. One of the greatest keys to be granted unusual anointings, please listen to me. Greater than your prayer life, greater than fasting, is your love for God and your love for his body. You will never be given the power to heal the sick if you hate the people you are going to heal. Are we together? Every spiritual gift works by love. Every manifestation of the power of God works by love. If I hate Ejimi right now and God gives me prophecy for Ejimi, the purity with which that prophecy left the throne is not the purity with which it will be delivered. That, that prophecy will rub off on my hatred. And chances are that I will add to that prophecy what God did not say. Which was a derivative of my personal vendetta with him. Are we together now? Love. Most of us trivialize love. We love power. If I tell everybody shout power, you stand up with two hands and say power oh God. Shout miracles. Miracles. Shout gifts. Gifts. Shout love and we say the ladies can shout it. That's the reason why many people never walk in the high places of the spirit. The Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it come into the hearts, the comprehension of any man, 
that which God has in store for they that love him. Are we together? He says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. Not how you pray, not the wheelchairs you lift up when you have love one for another. The Bible says, how can you claim you love God that you have not seen when you hate your brother? Listen, having a different perspective is not a reason for hatred. There are many people that work, the extended workforce of the ministry includes several people. There are people watching from the projector stand outside. Some of the drivers will soon come. They are Muslims. I love them. I greet them all the time. When they give birth, our protocol department goes to greet them. We invite them for dinner. The Muslims know that I love them. I have neighbors who are Muslims. Whenever they are celebrating any occasion, I try to greet them. Sometimes we sit and say, brotherly kindness. I remember when Koinonia used to do counseling sessions before we stopped. Ask those who come. You see throngs of Muslim families come together with everything. They're not in hiding. They come openly. Muslims recommend people and say, look, go to that man of God. And they come. Oh, I am Haji Adis. I am Alaji Adis. And I say, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Not what are you doing here? <laughs> the world is not for Christians. The world is for anybody God allows to arrive here. Whoever. Whoever arrives here. Whoever arrives here. Deserves to be shown love. There are families. Some of your families have a mixture of Christians and Muslims. Look at the fight that happens there. The prayer warrior slash priest is the greatest troublemaker in that family because he disagrees with everything. Everything. I remember when I was in primary school, they do Muslim prayers, Christian prayers, and after they do it, everybody hugs themselves. We, truly speaking, growing up, I did not know any difference between Muslims and Christians. We celebrated Christmas together. When it was time for Salah, we looked forward to Rams arriving and all of that. I mean, people were just happy you see people. But the resentment, especially of the church. Are we together? There are three people that come around. How are you? I'm, I'm, what's your name? I'm James. How are you? My name is Femi. How are you? My name is Abdullahi. Uh, you stand here. And we try to be able to say, look, we are the church. No, sir. You are the light of the world. 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 A city set on a hill. As far as we are represented in this land, everybody will be blessed from it. We will pray for everybody. We will strive to get as many to the saving knowledge of Jesus. But regardless, I, there are people I pray for. I pray for them with all my heart. Some of them come and they bring their chance. I'm sorry, sir. You know, the way my practice, I tell them, I said, no problem. But this is the way it is, um, you know, when you want to see this, this chance will not help. Not, hey, you are bringing champ. My Jesus, where are you? Show up all these kinds of things that we do. No, sir. We are not going to bless the world that way. Are we together? Some of us have neighbors. Six o'clock. You are shouting. You open the door and just move. Hey, sister, Femi, come. Brother, this, come. And we're on our way going. And all the Muslim people, good morning, sir. And they are watching. Let me tell you, listen to me. We will never preserve the ordinances of the kingdom that way. But when there is love, you hear that someone is sick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I mean, now you are sick. What is wrong? Is your mother around? No, she's not around. Let's go to the hospital. Ah, and the lady is watching you. You go to the hospital. You've paid the bills. Please. I mean, now is also my daughter. And the Hajia comes and says, ah, ah, I thought you were supposed to go to church. And say, the reason why I would have gone to church is what I am doing now. I'm not a hypocrite. I will not go to church and let somebody die. The very training I would receive in the church was to take care of such a person. And I'm here seated. The woman goes back. I love families where you see people regardless of religion, regardless of this, they love themselves. There is this resentment. And we pastors are the architects of programming members to hate any other person who is not them. 
the worst part of it is that it has even entered the church it's no longer christians versus non-christians denomination every time you see somebody that dresses this way you are not told to hate directly it's through a series of messages that draw a straight line hate this person if you see any lady who behaves this way hate this person if you see any brother that behaves this way hate this person if you see any young man of god preaching hate this person if you see any ministry where the power of god manifests hate them if you see any ministry where the man of god cannot even pray in tongues hate him we all combine that war and think we are being spiritual and god is watching us god is not a christian no i hope you are aware god is not a christian god is the god of all flesh god is not a christian when the when the when the angel appeared to joshua he said are you for us or against us he said you are joking i'm not for anybody i'm standing on god's side whoever i find there is the one for me you are not there you are you go away immediately the last supper that we talk about in heaven good news is one big table and everybody who arrives there must sit there you, you are not given the privilege of choosing your neighbor we are there one big family the bible already told us listen one of the biggest secrets of the grace of god upon my life is that i never resent any man of god i never resent any church you will never hear me open my mouth to talk against any man of god no if i mention names it is for commendation and for blessings now i have my reservations i have my convictions but it is not enough reason you see me greet and love people anywhere I have friends and great people that we vary sharply in beliefs but i love them with all my heart are we together who taught you to love only those who agree with you doctrinally religiously some of us innocently our mothers have indoctrinated us hate this one in this neighborhood everybody's a witch except us someone prepares a nice meal and they bring it and say, if I, if, I, if I see you touch that rice, the slap I will give you. And the neighbors are watching. Bring those people for deliverance and see who manifests. You'll be surprised that the only thing the unbeliever needs is salvation. But the so-called jumping noisemaker, before they even arrive and sit, they're already shaking and shouting and flying up and down. Let's be careful. The greatest enemies of Jesus were not prostitutes. They were not children. He loved them. When he saw a woman who was caught in adultery, um, he said, woman, where are than accusers? He said, neither do I accuse you. That's Jesus for you. He met a woman by the well. And the woman was afraid as usual because everyone had treated her that way. Jesus said, you have five husbands. The one that is with you is not even your husband. I thought Jesus said, you said, Abba, one husband, two husbands. Because that's what Joshua Selma would have done. Madam, what, what is wrong with you? You have not listened to my message, Essentials for a Glorious Relationship. Thank God Jesus is not me. I'm the one who strives to become him. Are we together? But here's a loving, loving... I remember one time I was counseling someone, I think he had three wives, and then he was telling me, he said, well, the other wife, the third wife is mad, and I was shocked. He just passed the statement, and there's a comeback. The what? Ah, oh God, you are mentioning this thing, and, you are, and, and the Holy Spirit convicted me. You see, when something has happened, it has happened. God manages that system to bear his will. There are no longer regrets. Doesn't mean you should do it. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Doesn't mean you should do it. Don't go and marry anyhow. But I'm saying, when you meet people and something has already happened, if a lady has already gotten pregnant and she's giving birth to the child, you won't carry the child and put him back to her. The child has arrived. The most important thing is let's get God into that life. Yeah. That's how we salvage the situation. Yes, Listen, by the grace of God, one of my life's goal is to be the arm for wounded people to find shelter. And I say amen to that. Are we together? that 
when someone is wounded I will not just be an anointed man of God but a shoulder that you can lean on that when other people are moving and shouting and running their mouth like we do in the body of Christ that it is you will be the shoulder for people to lean on oh I used to pray before but something happened to my life hey something happened what happened pride I but you are you are the arm he says it's all right there is a system in the kingdom where mighty men can arise again love is God speaking to us yes, there is nobody who want to be a member of such kind of a church nobody will not want to be a, a leader of such kind of a of a past look at what this guy is doing <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm busy preaching and using him for example, and he's there. Well, I love him too. God bless you, Sam. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes. The workers in this ministry know that I love them. I love the leaders outspokenly. How many of you see Benga when he shines? Come, Benga. When he shines, when he shines, when he shines, he said he didn't do it today, but I mean. He bought the clipper by himself and trust me, he does a good job. Better than, I mean, he shines that thing and brings it for me to impart upon it. It's called love. When you see people, anointing and love can go hand in hand. You don't have to drag your face as if you are the person. Who, no, 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 no. I love people. God bless you, baby. You see me and Jimmy, you, you see me and the little children. I'm sure it's only because protocol has stopped them now. Otherwise, these children can run while I'm preaching now. They don't care. To them, your Joshua Selman is apostle to you. That, that, he's the person who plays with me when I'm ready for play. After service, they run. They don't care whether I ate or not, whether I've broken fast or not. They just jump and expect me to hold them. It's called love. There is a side of God we have failed to reveal because we have thought that revealing it is weakness. I love Muslims. You will never see tribalism in this ministry. Never. Never. The workers have been taught. They've been taught. Oh, you are Igbo. You are Yoruba. Mm -mm -mm. No, no man after the flesh. I love my people. Don't get me wrong. There are my people listening to me from just. I love all of you with all my heart. But trust me. Trust me. I love the body of Christ. I have gone to every region in this nation. They have received me with joy and honor without prejudice, without sentiment. I humorously used to talk with my people and I tell them, I say, we have many houses in this nation. And then we keep listing all the houses, the frequent places that we visit. I'll be going to Mubi now, um, next month. And whenever I reach there, do you know how they greet me? Daddy, oh yo yo. That's how they dance, because that's home. And it's home, I love them with all my heart. I told them the next time I come here, I'll look for land and buy because I think I qualify to be uh, whatever it is, the, 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 the local, the son of the soil of that place. How about Kogi? The, the, the amount of food I've eaten in Kogi qualifies me to be given something, maybe a trip to the title. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love the body of Christ with all my heart. No resentment. No prejudice. I see a man of God before I even know who you are and what you believe. You receive a big hug from me. How are you? You are hungry, sir. This is something to eat. Before I start finding out whether you believe whatever, you say, I believe in Jesus. I also believe in culture. I still love you, but would you want to look at it this way? Not, hey! I want, uh, blessed is the man who does not stand in the council of the weekend. I love people. There are Muslims seated here in this congregation, inside and outside listening to me and after service they come and greet I love them that's how many of them have become born again but whether or not they become born again hating them I love everybody my neighbors they are little children when I see them I they just drop and come and hug me and I lift all of them I don't care whether you are a Christian or this you are a herbalist whether there's a chap for you that's not the issue that's why God allowed me immune myself I lift them and I'm happy and bless them change your outlook about the world my world is a beautiful world my world is not a world in crisis having enemies church versus uh -uh. no my world is a beautiful world i love people i don't resent people 
I don't pride myself at the pain of people. Walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instruments of peace. I'm praying with all my heart. Man of God, we have a little program. We need 10 naira. Okay, I can help you with 2 naira. I don't care whether you are with me. I don't. It's not my business. The most important thing is, I love you. You love Jesus. You are my friend. You truly are my friend. What a beautiful way to live. This ugly, resentful way. The whole world will not become koinonia. Stop dreaming about it. Kingdom advancement is not establishing koinonia everywhere. Kingdom advancement is koinonia, establishing Christ everywhere. Are we together? Yes. The mandate is extended by many of you here and many ministries that will come out of here. That's true kingdom advance. Not an advancement of one person's agenda and ideology, but an advancement of his kingdom. And it's a privilege to contribute the quota that your ministry or whatever platform can bring in kingdom advance. I love the body. I honor the husband and I honor his wife. I honor the husband, Christ. I honor his wife, the ecclesia. I honor the bride of Christ. I will never resent the bride of Christ. Though wounded, she still deserves my honor. Though in ignorance in many areas, she still deserves my honor. Are we together? I meet a man of God somewhere. I greet him whether I know you or not. Oh, you're a pastor. God bless you. Where? What are you doing? Oh, I'm a pastor with this and that and that and that. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. How are you? Oh, I'm a pastor with deeper life. Ah, how is our father, Papa Kumui? Oh, you know Papa Kumui. I love him with all my heart. Oh, I'm a member of MFM. Really? How is our father, Daniel Lukoya? Ah, he's this. I mean, you love him. Really? Are you a member of MFM? No, not exactly, but these are fathers. They bless us. A child receives from anywhere his father is. That's the body of Christ. Are we together? How are you? Oh, you are a winner. Yes, God bless you. Oh, I was blessed by Papa Oyedepo's message. I was so blessed. Are we together? Every, it doesn't matter what fellowship I can preach there. It doesn't matter what ministry I can preach. I remember when the Anglican communion invited me. They forgot that I was a seminarian. Ah. I saw, I think it was the vicar. He was so happy when I was reciting the Apostles' Creed. And I was talking and you know, ah, he was so impressed. And after the meeting, they loved me with all his heart and I greeted him, appreciated him. I love people with all my heart. You don't pray in tongues, no problem, I love you. You are limited by your understanding. I pray that you improve, but no problem, I love you. Are we together? That's what Jesus taught us. Now listen to me. I was sharing again with my friend this afternoon. Correcting the body of Christ is an office. Not everybody has the authorization to correct the body. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Correcting the body is an office. The same way, if, come, Emeka is writing his last exam in a few weeks and you'll be a full doctor. Huh? He's already, it's just to, for them, to all of them, see our, our doctor people there. I mean, we have so many doctors, children sick, 
while prayer is going, injection is coming here, attacking from every hour. I tell you, divine health is going to be here for a very long time. It has come here to stay. Praise God. Now watch this. If I am sick, will I allow any roadside, these guys that sell pharmacies on, they sell drugs on, on one box on their head that they can mix everything. Will I allow that person to treat me? I go to an authorized person. What authorized him? There is an association. When he writes his final exam, he's going to be officially authorized to practice medicine. Is that true? Yes. Correcting. Do you think God will create a body and not allocate the doctors that take care of it? Are we together? The same way you have lecturers that teach the mind of that body, you have doctors. Coming to correct the body is an office. One of the first requirements to be qualified to collect to correct the body is that you must love the body without reservation the whole body must be loved without reservation to end the right to correct her help that person under the anointing the moment listen 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 let me have your attention here the moment you do not love the body you cannot effectively correct the body if this guy is a pastor come Mike and Mike is a pastor XYZ Ministries International ABC Ministries International and I come I'm a pastor I don't like what Mike is doing I already have a bias I can never correct it in truth are we together but I can stand here loving the body and when I say Mike I think um, you are supposed to put your hand this way not this way I do it in love are we together the context of my communication shows that I love Mike genuinely and I seek with all my heart to see him rise hallelujah I rebuke many of you here sometimes I come to preach and the series can be fire you know there are series that I hammer as soon as they finish preaching your body is just shaking and you can't wait for the grace so that you quietly go no matter how hard I am on you you discern my heart and know that there's love there are men of god you shout at members like that next sunday you have empty pews but when they know that you love them i rebuke people i rebuke the workers i rebuke worship team worship team i love you people with all my heart but there are times that they deserve rebuke and what does a good leader do you rebuke them to the gravity that will create the effect but they know I love them. I rebuke all kinds of people. Protocol everyone. So you don't come and just begin to lambast the body of Christ. Tear down every ministry. Tear down every man of God. Carry the baby and the bad water. And the bad water mix everything together and throw them. No. If my leg is wounded. Don't insult my head. My head is still good. Appreciate the fact that I bab well. It's just that there's wound on my leg. And then bring bandage and treat it. Don't keep pointing and say, Ah, you mean this big injury is on your leg? How can such a good head have bad leg? You are not solving the problem. Bring a bandage. I wrote a song years ago. The bandage is larger than the wound. Powerful song. One day I will, I will play this keyboard by myself and sing it. Are we together now? Bandage the wound and say father thank you for the privilege your head is good but this is where the problem is and i come as a member of the body too and i remedy you and two weeks later the wound is healed and he's standing the church is stronger the body is stronger christ is exalted it's only in the church that we destroy our wounded soldiers a man of god serves a ministry for many years and an issue comes around his life and the people he has served for many years turn against him as if he became a devil in one month no sir no sir i manage a lot of cases between men of god and sometimes i see the bleeding that comes from them they serve people with all their heart and maybe sometimes something happened around their life that you know destroyed their ministry or whatever it is and you see the resentment my prayer for you is that you become the arm that can wipe the tears of people 
that every time people are crying they say i know that pastor alpha is a prayer warrior he's a revelation giant but he's also a loving hand what a good testimony jesus said let the little children come the children were running to jesus and all of a sudden said, guy guy leave me alone he, he's, he's, he has finished fasting allow him and jesus said yeah who taught you this let the little children come to me and do not despise them for for such is the kingdom i have come to seek and save the lost i've come as a man of god when i when i travel and go to regions many times pastors come from other cities to come you know just in honor of the meeting and i look at their faces i see some already intimidated i see some standing and i am very quick to honor all of them i come to them and i say men of god i love you i honor you i have not come to outshine you i know you have listened to my messages don't be intimidated i am here to lift up your hand i am here you are already doing something great i don't go to a city and destroy what the people are doing there i go to a city and i tell them look you are doing something great and i'm here to lift up your hands so that jesus will be seen you don't come and open a shop near another believer and as soon as you open a shop near that believer you just sit down go and bring oil go and bring water go and bring this and pour it and say you will see you will know that the god of my of apostle joshua said you know there's fire in this coin only i wait and see your shop and then the person's shop is going down and you are laughing say, see i told you this anointing works in this ministry you are an immature believer an accident happens 10 members eight die and the only two members that survive are the members of your church and then they come and say everybody died except us remember that prophecy that papa gave us and and the, and, 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 and an immature man of god is happy the death of eight believers is a setback to kingdom advance we must have a corporate heart are we together now i was asking i was asking him uh, about the, the flood in benway state and what is going on because my heart i've just been thinking about the people there and i was telling him i said look benway has tried for years to bring me by god's grace i would i should try to visit that land next year and we're just talking and those of you listening from benway i love you uh it's not my my intention not to have come and trust me next year in the name of jesus christ next year benway should be part of the itinerary let's let's go there and contribute to the great things that they are doing there whenever you approach ministry as a contribution in addition to what god is already doing you become loved you become valued and every man of god within that territory loves you but when you go to a territory and push everybody away as though you are doing nonsense you are not even praying in tongues and you are a pastor you are not even this and that you are not collecting offering in your church eh? you are not you approach the pulpit with a heart of love you bless people seated in this place are mighty men and women of god they come quietly to sit down while the meeting is up after service there are many people who have traveled from many regions i don't stand joshua selman this is him in case you have heard about him this is apostle joshua selman yes bring your demons bring your sickness no 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 it's a privilege of his grace i will never take for granted I'm nothing without you. It's grace, your grace shines on me. It's your grace, your grace. I'm nothing without you. pastors of fellowships and groups learn it never make your fellowship a place that divides the body are we together call to order people whose lives have a track record of the no 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 especially some of us who are younger coming up in ministry we have hardly seen anything and we're already sustaining this bossy attitude no sir 
love sir I've shared about my love and honor for CGC the, the leadership of CGC I say it in the open the CGC represents the most humble set of ministers I have seen in all my life till date truly speaking truly speaking I have never never seen men of God so anointed together with their wives the mama of CGC is such a humble woman mommy will see me like this and left for her a woman that is old enough to be my mother how many times mommy will want to kneel down I know what some of you will do you will stand and say well mommy I, I let me tell you how it is you will not look for it but if it comes you will enjoy it you are still a criminal it's listen it's like buying alcohol or you are given a drunkard is one who drinks alcohol not one who drink by buying with his money whether you are given as a gift it is the act of drinking alcohol that makes you a drunkard a wise person just because they acknowledge you and they come ah apostle sir and the woman a, my mother wanting to kneel down for me and then i stupidly stand there and I, no i will join her and kneel down she kneels down will lie down and roll and say mommy let's let's roll on the floor there some of us are already receiving that you your appetite for outshining is almost a cancer you don't search for it for yourself but when it comes you don't mind where is the apostle where is he that guy that's it yes apostle joshua selman and in case you doubt that i'm anointed give me five minutes let me handle the mic that's not a person that will last if it means god taking the ministry for me to retain the humility he has given me it's a worthy bargain i will give up koinonia a thousand times to maintain my work with god and to maintain the life humility has blessed me more than financial intelligence it has given me access to the hearts of people there is nothing as beautiful as someone highly anointed and truly humble not fake humility that is, is just no, no 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 humility that is based on revelation i love the body of christ i love the church of the lord jesus in zaria every time i pass around and i see different prayer groups prayer cells different people i see a lot of you know our some of them are our brethren here some of them have crusades in different lands we just i think there was a crusade conducted recently in gombe you know i am excited seeing the people that god has granted grace to raise doing a lot of things i'm not pushing them and say who oh, no it should be only me only me no only you is this is that one is is just culture we bring our cultural limitations mix it with the anointing and make it look like it's the holy spirit that is responsible for all that outcome no sir let's separate between the limitations that came from our personal sense of poor esteem i love it when i see god lift people i love it when i see god use people during the school of ministry i was at the, their practicum i was seated outside and i was almost shedding tears i was watching as great men and women powerful people dispensing truth i sat down the reason why i left this place and i sat down outside was i didn't want them to be conscious of the fact that i'm there and then be conscious of not i, I wanted them to just have their way and minister and what a powerful meeting it was for me it's a pride for many men of god is an intimidation no 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 let's let's clamp these people down very soon before they outshine <laughs> No, honor is a mantle. If it's on you, it's on you. Shines on me, shines on me. I'm everything with you. Shines on me, shines on me. It's your grace. Shines on me. Shines on me. I'm everything with you. Shines on me. Shines on me. It's your grace. 
man of God sent me a text a few weeks ago. I think Am Robbers entered, and I think it's a small church somewhere. I don't know if it's in Abuja or Nasarawa State. And he sent me a text. He said, Man of God, I don't know you, but Am Robbers just entered. They stole some of their gadgets. You know, I'm sure maybe the church was not secured and all of that. I didn't have to ask, Who are you? What, what church do you belong to? What do you believe? Do you listen to my message or not? That's, that was none of my business. Sir, really? Ah, I called him. How are you, sir? Let me pray for you. I hope they didn't hurt anybody. Where is the church? I pray for you with all my heart in the name of Jesus. Please send me your account number. Whatever little I can send. If it cannot be enough to buy a speaker, at least you can buy a recharge card and make calls. Cheer up. Don't worry. Father, strengthen this brother in the faith. The devil has come to discourage him. But my brother, I encourage you. Stand strong. Oh, apostle, you have been a mentor to me. That's not the issue. I'm praying for you now. The loss of one is the loss of the body. The gain of one is the gain of the body. Lift your voice as you are seated and cry for the grace. A baptism of love for the body. I'm not doubting your love for God. But your love for the body. I show you why you are not seeing miracles in your life. I show you why there are certain levels of investments that you may not see. I show you why God may not be able to trust you with blessings for the body. Lord, I love your body. Ah, I love your body. I love every church. I love every denomination. I love every man of God. There may be difference in belief systems. There may be difference in values. Our levels of alignment may differ. Our levels of spiritual results may differ. But I love what you are doing in Nigeria. The church in Nigeria is not dead. The church in Nigeria is not weak. She can't be better, but Christ is in the midst of her church. The perfecter of the bride. 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 Inside, outside, make sure you are praying. The perfecter of the bride. Hallelujah. We are soon going to stand up, but I'm going to give you one more prayer point. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, the spirit of sarcasm and resentment, take it out of me. I didn't even know when it entered me. I laugh at men of God. I laugh at business people. I laugh at other tribes. Anyone who is not Yoruba, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not evil, I laugh at them and resent them. Anyone who is not a northerner, anyone who is not a Christian, any Muslim I see, I hate it. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus taught us to love. Jesus taught us to love. It's one way we allow the purposes of God to be preserved. That the church within a territory is known for love, not hate. Not hate. Hallelujah. Listen. We are going to pray. Brothers and sisters, look at me. If it is authentic power you want, if it is grace and anointing you want, more than fasting and more than prayer, you must love his body. You cannot love a husband and hate his wife. You are a hypocrite. I cannot love a Jimmy and hate hope. I cannot love Pastor Alpha and hate Annie. It doesn't work that way. When you love a man, you love his wife. If you love Christ, the head of the church, then you must love his bride. Yes, still getting perfected. Yes, with many mistakes in the midst of her. Yes, with many scandals in the midst of her. Yes, with many people blindly refusing dimensions of God. But you must love people. I love every man of God. I love every pastor. I love every leader in Zaria across this nation. I love them. I watch television and I see different preachers across different channels manifesting what they know and understand by the, the kingdom in many ways. And I see a lot of things. I have my reservation, but I love them in spite. I love all of them with all my heart. The same way many people love me, in spite of my own imperfections, in spite of my own limitations, they overlook the excellence level of our messages. Some messages are not very clear. They overlook it and focus on what God is doing. That is the same way you must sow that same seed of love. You can't be resentful over everybody. Are we together? 
Yes, the lady did not cover her hair. Okay, it's all right. Reserve your reservation about your concept there. But it's not enough reason to hate. Oh, the lady covered her hair. Ah, I don't believe in covering of hair. No problem. But it's not enough reason to go around hating people. No, sir. We must love the body. When we do this as a territory, you will see revival break out in Zaria and from Zaria across every part. One worship minister will finish worshiping and hug the other one and give him the mic with joy. Not give him the mic like you have come to stop me from shining. No. The body. Think kingdom, not koinonia. Think kingdom. Think body, not Joshua Selman. Thank God for the honor. Thank God for the loyalty based on administration. But if you want to be effective in the kingdom, you must think beyond me. You must think beyond koinonia. You must think kingdom and the purposes of God. Hold hands together. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. Though we are many, we are one body. We are one body in Christ. One more time, let it be a song of love and unity. a love for christians a love for muslims a love for traditional worshipers a love for any and everybody praise a love for yoruba people a love for Igbo people a love for northern people lift your voice and pray grace to love Shabrez Kalabongas Kalabaria Tato Sempre de Gelebe de Mokosta Shabras Kata Sege de Tepe Prosko Piana Balanabus Empre Kete Keto Salabana Kota Sanyana Balanabus Lift your voice and pray Drive far from your life the spirit of hate Drive far from your life the spirit of resentment Exalt the body in love Build the body in love Correct Muslims in love. Correct traditional worshippers in love. Deal with your unbelieving relatives with love. It is the love of God that brings them to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe, I believe in miracles, I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I do believe. I believe in miracles. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? You are here seated. Do you believe that that devil can leave you? There is a spirit that oppresses you. You can't sleep. I went through it as a preacher oppressed by demon spirits 
people told me it's, it's not it doesn't happen well it happened to me brothers and sisters it did it happened to me the day i was free i knew till tomorrow do you know let me tell you something brothers and sisters one activity of a demon spirit in your life can work like an octopus close almost 10 doors one spirit 10 doors you will be addressing it here finances favor open door whereas one wicked spirit sitting on your destiny you may say it, it doesn't matter you watch the lives of people let me tell you when most people come out they come out over the most obvious issue the most obvious one is the one you try to address but when the power of god comes it's like a drug it will scan your body and deal with everything it's only because you need a child now that's why you think what is wrong with you is barrenness it's a spirit that has been enjoying your ignorance for a long time it's just that you've not had an opportunity to give birth so you do not know are we together now there are people carrying the spirits of failure upon their lives they will tell you it's because of this job they leave this job and go to this one they leave this and do this listen when you see different conditions producing the same result there is a spirit behind it whether good or bad you take a man somewhere he excels you take him somewhere he excels there is a spirit sponsoring that result the same way you take a man and give him any opportunity he will blow it there is a spirit this is a revelation to someone already to tell you it's not that they didn't give you the job it wouldn't have made any difference it's not about the job you must address the spirit causing failure in your life and family are we together now yeah there are people who do well in every family they rise up they enjoy the blessings of the lord and overnight they crash as if they do you know let me tell you something there are people i know today honestly speaking 10 15 20 years ago these people were like the happening people in every area influence finances today today they will cough and there's nobody to arise and help them it's a spirit you you will now come and think okay it's just because this one didn't go to school no 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 there is a spirit you may write 20 prayer requests and those 20 prayer requests are caused by one just one spirit and the moment the power of god touches you you will start seeing a ripple effect of open doors that's what usually happens all of a sudden somebody who promised to help you after six years now says uh -uh, i told you to send me your number that day no he just thinks he's realizing it but something made him the king could not sleep and he called he said come uh, bring me this mordecai did this so 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 and so did they reward him mordecai had done that he had never offended the king as far as the bible records yet they did not bless him remembrance does not happen through charm there is a spirit that sponsors men to remember you do you know brothers and sisters i have learned through life that the mountain that stands before you is within the capacity of someone to crumble and solve it for you but until the spirit of god moves those people they will never help you don't forget my teaching on the gift of men listen to that teaching again it's a powerful secret one of the most there are seven mysteries and secrets that god gave me one of it is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers overnight your life can change because the right person steps into your life overnight you can die because the wrong person stepped into your life there are some of us what you are receiving tonight is grace for the right people to come there are too many people in your life none of them is right all the trouble in your life can be traced to certain individuals that hope their way through your life no have i not said it's up to you to make the world work right now and we're going to engage the world this night violently violently please drop your pride drop everything and let's cry before the god of heaven and say lord step in step in step in change
change my story don't pretend like everything is working change my story lord i thank you a and b and c area they are working well i give you the glory but lord this area i've i've come before you tonight trusting you for grace trusting you for grace trusting you for grace he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word to pass he reigns he reigns how God is an awesome he reigns he reigns outside you may be online it doesn't matter if you cannot insist listen if you are embarrassed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it please hear me let me repeat myself if you are embarrassed and ashamed to be desperate about your miracle you do not deserve it sir you do not deserve it there must be a desperation you want the anointing you don't you don't pursue it passively and carelessly and casually and hope it to come upon your life no sir no sir you will seek it like a treasure that is missing hallelujah tonight i want us to pray don't don't look faith is not foolishness this is a factory where god produces miracles so you, you you are going to have to trust god get angry over what is not working give thanks for what is working but insist insist let me show you something sit down let me show you something before we pray john 15 if you can give it to us john 15 let's look at something jesus said john 15 let me show you how passionate jesus is in us producing results john 15. we'll read from verse 5. verse 5 down to 8. listen this is what jesus is saying i am the vine who is the vine who is the vine but he says ye are the i've taught again the fruits come from the you are the fruit bearing part of me are we together when you come to a tree and you don't find root, um, um, fruit you don't start insulting the root you look at the branch that's the obvious part now the branch depends on the vine however the branch is the fruit bearing part it displays the beauty and the strength of the root and jesus says i am the vine the invisible equation the invisible part and then he says you are the branches listen he that abided in me and i in him what will happen please read on the same person will do what bear how much much fruit then he says for without me he can do nothing we're reading to verse 8 he says if a man abide not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned seven if ye abide in me uh-huh 
and my words abide in you ye shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you read verse 8 if you are a christian one to read hearing i want you to change bear much fruit with produce results ready let's read it now hearing is my father glorified that ye produce results so hold on hold on don't rush so by producing results you testify that everything i said in the word you make men believe me when your life produces result so if 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 your life does not produce results men have a right to doubt me are we together because you are the other part of god remember he's the head and you are the body but this is a mystery you don't see that head but the body is a reflection of the quality of the head i always give an, 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 an analogy with with a jimmy's uh, um, child the daughter every time she comes you see her well dressed happy he takes care of her um he loves her but much more than that for his name's sake are we together if you see the daughter running around no shoes no nothing you look at him and look at his wife and say why are you people irresponsible nobody blames a child for being a child they blame the parents for not being good parents and so god is saying my testament is under pressure on earth and i am depending on the fruits that you produce when you are healed then that word jehovah rapha now becomes proven in the lives of men nobody can no longer say god is not a good god god wants you to produce results you have to understand this it's not something you have to coerce him he wants it for his namesake it is in his interest praise the lord when i hear that anyone who is part of this ministry is doing well in any area i am happy i feel very proud of them i'm very very happy if you're not doing well i'm there for you but if you're doing well i'm proud of you i'm still proud of you even if you are not doing well but you should do well you have to do well are we together yeah hearing is my father glorified give it to us again that you bear much fruit results you know many people say results don't matter it's a joke what else is the is the yardstick if results don't matter what else don't you know that even loving god and knowing god is results right the dear lady shared a testimony of a brother who was drinking and smoking anything available and now all of a sudden the guy is madly in love with god that's transformation that's results if he goes back to his friends and they say can you taste it as usual say no 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 i'm a changed person it's not the issue of temptation i am changed transformed by a reality are we together when people who have concluded about you and said sam you will never rise and all of a sudden you rise like an edifice and they say everybody from your village does not rise and all of a sudden you rise pastor alpha ah you won't go anywhere listen do you know i love the way god is he will allow your enemies to finish talking then he'll say let's start proving them wrong one by one by one by one that's what god is doing to someone who has carried his big mouth to talk against your god in this year of triumph god will surprise them do you know listen there are people who scorn at believers happily every time they see people loving god they sit down and discuss them and to a point that some of you are embarrassed your phone rings it's a christian ringtone you you, you off it quickly because you you don't want to shame this god who is disappointing you my god the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like what damn it will be like a dream he will say no 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 which promise which promise are you talking about they said the one you know he said no no you are you are joking because people stratify us and keep us at a level and don't want us to rise so that their prophecy will be self-fulfilling but then when the god of heaven is ready to pick people up you know i was blessed by the testimony of a gentleman i don't know if he's here the guy in kogi that got a job what a blessed testimony all of a sudden god just changed his story 
look at the lady that God healed of HIV I know some of you think it's a lie this is what we are trying to destroy because if how else do you want to even carry the healing anointing if you are still calculating the physics behind the healing of whatever how did a and b become c you are not a christian because the bible said my sheep hear my voice the voice of another they will not hear this is what makes people to carry news all around thinking every man of god is faking miracles because according to their understanding issue they will not directly come and say we don't believe it but the miracle will happen right before their eyes and they say no 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 it, let's let's verify when the devil afflicts you you don't verify it at once you believe it people come and say satan spoke to me he said go and kill yourself why didn't you call us for verification but when god speaks now people you know it just tells you the mindset of people how much people do not believe god please tonight be a believer be a believer don't just stand up don't just lift up hands to receive as though um let's see if god will no god will change your story and beat you beyond your imagination hallelujah one of the things god told me will happen tonight is a dramatic outpouring of the mantle of favor i've been praying do you know listen do you know i, I don't share too much of my personal experiences but i prayed for one year for the ministry of the gift of men one year one year lord send strategic people to my life koinonia is blessed to have men look we are going to pray for the gift of men you hear me say this thing all the time if a man does not show up in your life you are in trouble you are in trouble or if the wrong person shows up it's still the same thing as as breakthrough not coming because it will not move your life forward one man showing up in your life can say david damn come i i just feel like blessing you you sang a song and i had and i want to bless you what does it take to produce your album Oh, sir to produce one song in lagos is 250,000. he said okay how many tracks do you have 10 and then you are there thinking the man is like you and he's listening to you when you finish he now says this is a check of four million naira please when you do everything let me know and then you leave the man and say so what is the catch he said there is no catch when it is favor there is no catch god will just surprise you and leave you like that somebody will just build a house it's called prepared blessings see if you don't believe in what i'm telling you you can go home honestly because this is what we are going to deal with tonight triumph thanks be to god who causes us always 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 to triumph always to triumph that you come for koinonia empty-handed and as soon as the service is over someone walks to you and say i don't know you but god sent me into your life to say from now till september every month i should be giving you twenty thousand. you don't believe it can happen i hear you are five in your family and your dad is dead your mom is dead from today i become a father in this family simple for starters move out of this place into a two-bedroom flat look let me tell you something it's called quantum leap i'm trusting that god will take us into this dimension david you will do a little experiment eh you will take three steps and then you will jump forward like a frog ready now watch let me show you the difference between progress and a quantum leap are you ready this is progress two three now jump this is a quantum leap i know it's a little analogy but see if you if there is no provision like this your lifetime is too small for you to be successful at the rate humans move you will never build a house till you die at the rate your salary is being paid you will never do anything useful at the rate church services are held you will never know god with the amount of the sermons you need a quantum leap i have witnessed it in my life many people here are witnesses of it where god will just all of a sudden change somebody's story i tell you i feel the anointing as i'm saying this this is what many of us need tonight a quantum leap 
this issue of moving here and there okay thank god you are now employed you are earning forty thousand. let's be sincere let's be sincere in the name of jesus christ who died and rose again in how many years will forty thousand build a house for you now i know many people who say it does not matter it matters to any responsible person how much does it take to marry forty thousand the auditorium is how much how much does it take a child's school fees a child's school fees right now a child who cannot talk the school fees is hundred hundred and something thousand to just teach them how to play and you plan to have five you better listen to what i'm telling you this is why people are, are depressed depressed someone is driving and talking to himself till he dies till he dies because of depression we need a quantum leap quantum leap where the grace of god comes upon your life divine acceleration triumph triumph shaka pataya triumph by the spirit there are ministries that need quantum leaps if all you do is to invite members through posters let me tell you the truth get set for empty pews please help those under the anointing are you hearing what i'm saying if all you want to do in life is to move like men men i'm ready more than ever let me tell you it's like a flight i've been having an interesting experience with the holy spirit in the last two three weeks my goodness is is a is is a preparation for a quantum leap this man you see has gone no I'm, I'm i'm only saying you better believe god and arise don't let anybody tell you don't listen to him run away from them they will help you when you are in trouble you'll be surprised to see how the vicissitudes of life will distract you all these problems we are solving is to give us space to pursue our assignment not to build a house for building sake not to buy a car for buying a car sake not to eat well for whatever it is so that if you decide to lock yourself in your house to worship god for 24 hours nobody will call you and say why are you worshiping god you can't be in church and someone calls you and says you better come and on the machine on which machine you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible and we're standing in here only because for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing that's impossible that we're standing here only because you can listen brothers let me talk to you do you know right now please come when you see a gentleman like this do you know if this gentleman is successful many elders will ask him what are you doing in other words how come your life is this fast society has made people's growth rate so slow if you buy a car at 45 they say wow wonderful you are responsible but you buy a car at 22 and see people say you're a witch if they see a young man succeed you see everybody saying uh -uh, at this life two plus two it doesn't add up god wants to accelerate the kingdom the coming of jesus is near there is a lot we must do for the kingdom listen you can't spend your life looking for money it's a cost it's a cost it's a cost to spend your life looking for what to eat and what to drink you will never serve god that way pray eight hours when you are hungry you are joking you may endure but your children will not endure listen hold on please i want you to pay attention to what i'm telling you you see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years 
people insulted us and said we we're noisemakers those people today some of them are not born again they are not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving god if you are a brother here when i say pray please pray pray the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you, you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many And we're standing here only because you And we're standing here only because you made a way. Made a way. When our backs were against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, you made. hallelujah hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200 thousand but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God Koinonia, pray, pray. Shabakato sebara baladaba. Zakata baroko to sepregeti. Shegete bereko sopra na baladaba baladaba. Don't know how, but you did it. Lord, I cry. Hear me, O oh God. My life must make progress. My life must make progress. Outside, are you praying? My life must make progress. My life must make progress. hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not it's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come 
this lack of being serious with God lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself exempt yourself Exempt yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years one nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i'd like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden from, shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing Take it, take it, take it, take it. Lick up a roto so proper and a bashana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and you are going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. Hallelujah. Please keep standing. Keep standing, everyone. We are going to pray now. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Luke 18, verse 1. Please, quickly. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2. There's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge, which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. 
I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful. God, there are people who don't need mercy. They need vengeance. You don't pray if you don't believe it. But let me tell you something. There is a God of vengeance. He said, let God arise. And let all his enemies be scattered. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life, my family. Koinonia, pray. Arise. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. hallelujah listen there was a man in the book of Esther called Haman have you heard about Haman that man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God not just the Jews the agenda of God the apple of his eyes and then the Bible says through a lot of activities when that plot was gotten the king sent and he said they should go and hang him he already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together? 
tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges i may not know what it is i only know the effect oh god go to the root it says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying hallelujah hallelujah listen if after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony nobody will ask you to run to the house of god you will go by yourself do you know how many why many people never seek god the truth is they are tired of lack of results they are tired of it jumping around doing all kinds of things yes you don't love god just for results but you've heard me say it again at a point in your christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving god visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside 
let Jesus Christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight God bless you keep coming man of God you don't know what I've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as your hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly. We have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Hello. Scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. He says, my son, attend to my sins. Father, Incline end witchcraft now in her life. Let them not in depart the name of from Jesus their Christ. eyes and keep them in the midst of I decree and declare that As the reign of darkness message, we believe the is over. Will Bring this lady the home. The thereof if you are told to be the of now, God. That you by the power of the Holy Ghost, 
in the, in the name of, of Jesus Christ. That no matter the circumstances, I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what words. is deliverance? And as you have been blessed, we will tell floor. you to share this message. The power of God be an evangelist. You. By sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us for because we have life. loads of videos, we have loads Hallelujah. of content that is going to make you blessed, Lift that is hands. going to set you on course, that is wow. going to set you ablaze. And don't forget mighty. to like, especially for today. Us. God is Thank visiting you. visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting visitors in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything, just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. It's a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire coming on people inside and outside bring them out god is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, delay, 
I delay, delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delaying destiny, delaying achievement. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Bring the mommy out. There's a mighty deliverance happening to her. Delay over your family. Broken, broken, broken. Broken by the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of God is looking for those people. The power of God is looking for those people. You rise to a level and fall. You rise to a level and fall. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Inside and outside, wherever you are, I release that fire like a messenger to your life. Like a messenger to your life. I cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place I'm seeing children being delivered. Some initiated into occultism. 
some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him Hi. there is hardship in your family and the lord is asking me to cause it right now in the name of jesus i cause hardship let the anointing of the spirit come on you now i cause that spirit the spirit of hardship i cause you now i cause you now i cause you now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen if you are here and you have any blood disease just blood disease any kind any kind blood related issue lay your hand on your chest i want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please i want to pray for you right now the lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please if you come from a family where no one in your family is working lift your hands nobody no job nobody just please just do what i'm asking you to do let's save time just lift your hands nobody at all is working no matter what happens just lift your hands i want to pray for you lift your hands i want to pray for you jesus 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 i'm i'm looking at hands lifted and and for some of the hands i'm seeing like a rope this is not necessarily you this is a representation of your family and i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands get ready for the power of god right now wherever you are even those who didn't lift their hands i decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now right now right now right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we end joblessness here right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One, seven, one, seven, one, seven. At the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two three strange illumination four take it now take it now the spirit of revelation 
uncommon access to the secrets of the kingdom uncommon access 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 i release it in the spirit access 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 hallelujah please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come god is going to use you come come and stand here lift your hands stand up in the name of jesus i don't know you huh but an anointing will come upon your life today and god is going to change your life like day and night receive that grace right now strange grace step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters stir up the waters i release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings i activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it god is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on i'm still praying i'm still praying god wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing god wants to release there are many more people i'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing i pray for you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of god come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit hello humanity thy kingdom come I will be done. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. Elohim Adonai, I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on everyone usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. 
Don't say I'm not called into a business man. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. Is a grace. Is a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call it Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a, mon a money monger, you just go. But strange ideas, strange insight. Do you know, I'm seeing a number 4 and 1, 41. This will affect many people inside and outside. Whether you are a businessman or not, it's not what I'm asking you. That grace will locate you where you are. A grace for the marketplace. Lord, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, all the overflows, online, anyone here who must step into that grace, whether you know anything about the marketplace or not, take that grace now. Take that grace now. I release it. Supernatural access. Access. Access to business strategies. Access to ideas. Take it right now. Receive it, receive it. It's coming on people. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, it's coming on you. So that you will go and prosper. 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 There is a woman. One of our mothers. This grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now. Now. One of our mothers. One of our mothers is receiving that grace. God is releasing that grace. Whether you are inside or outside, whoever it is, I release that grace now. There is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit. You must take that grace now. You must take that grace now. Uncommon ability. Uncommon ability. Uncommon insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Please help them. How many of you are trusting God to restore something that has left your life? It can be anything. How many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances, but it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration. Kai, this is going to land on people's head. I'm seeing this thing. There are physical gifts you used to see in your life. Not gifts of the spirit. Not just gifts of the spirit. Gifts. Gifts. Endowments. For some reason it disappeared. Some of you are actually worshippers, singers, but that grace left is coming back. It's coming back. I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life. I prophesy strange restoration. I call it by name and I command it back to your life. I call it by name. Everything you once were that you now are not I command you to become it now. I command you to become it now. I release that grace. I release that grace. Receive it. I release that grace. I release that grace. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. There are some of us, hear me. You have been doing certain things. But the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life. This is a very serious prayer. I want to pray for you. You have been doing business with the brain of a money monger, but not the grace for the marketplace. You have been singing, 
only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace the words you speak turns things around help me the chains are gone hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this number one. Number two.
please if you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we are going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing I understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um, well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there I'm here pastor Jakes is here um, we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is femi around Okay, so you can just come and help me here. So let's do it that way, very fast. Very, very fast. If there are more people, there are still promise is here. Michael is here. So maybe you can add one. Okay, promise, just follow. Promise, follow Pastor Jakes. Michael, follow Ejimi. Please, let's do it very, very fast. While, hold on, please. Don't be distracted. Don't cut the flow. We are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray. And then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir was station here yeah. You cannot walk. I can move with you. This one can stick. Which but of the legs has a problem? This is the leg. This is stroke. Yes. Can you lift it? No, I can't. I can't. The hand, I can't lift Hold it. on. Look at this. Sir, look at me. You believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come come try to walk gently come give me the stick look at me look at your stick come come don't be afraid come Look at this, look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 Look at this.
very remarkable miracle for him. Find him. Find a chair and just keep him. Let him sit down while the power of God touches him. Sir, you came here by yourself. Um, trust him. Okay, and the boy has gone. Okay, he's somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying. I feel it within this vicinity from ministers go down choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. Come out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth. Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected. It's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother. Supernatural miracle is coming to that person by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now. You who is holding her, something is leaving her to you. There is there is virtue. I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you. You are doing your work as an usher, but you have received something very strange and very powerful. You see, let me tell you something. If, if you do not, you see, hold on. Walking in the anointing is more than having it. Having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing. If not, you will be anointed, but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her and matter two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing it's a strange hallelujah god 
God is giving two of them strange favor. Strange favor. I see strange favor. Strange favor. America, God is giving you access. I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head. And God is saying he's giving you strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Strange access. Muas, God is giving strange favor. Strange favor. Strange favor. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying, but this is a word for someone. And the Lord is saying, why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? Why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year? This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people when I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. My God. hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you you, you, you prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had you. Now, wherever you are, he's locating you now. Now. I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still praying outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a, listen, there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations, God, see, let me tell you, right now, if the anointing comes on you, just know that it's the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you, just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone Please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, Liva, pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata makata. So put on so pekete tete. Miracles, oh God. 
testimonies oh God signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it we prophesy it visit impossible situations I tell you God is moving I see a cloud I see a cloud over this prayer request that's what I see in the spirit God is moving upon it moving upon it moving upon it the spirit of God is moving over the prayer request visiting families releasing angels releasing angels visiting the request I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence visiting the prayer request Savior he can move a mountain my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Jesus praise give Jesus mighty praise hallelujah please let me still come pastor Jake's come I just feel like doing this is I, I don't always do this but I want to prophesy over your lives and in the name of Jesus they are my friends but the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives they are great men of God in power but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience 
in the name of Jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once I spotted Lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from Abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the Lord is saying I should prophesy a release I told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the Lord is saying I should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the Lord father in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over Lizzie and Lord Jesus I prophesy I prophesy according to the word that you are giving me I open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter Shabaka Toto Barekete Zat Kaskapas Katapas Katapas Legete To Soto Pratekes Kobaria A new chapter A new chapter A new chapter A new chapter And as many who desire to drink of this grace A new chapter A new chapter A new chapter As many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of Jesus a new chapter Lizzie I prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah please lift your hands we're rounding up Who is this girl come you god has chosen to visit you come come and stand here god is wiping your tears this prayer i'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny i lay my hands upon you and i command the gates to be open now i stood there and i saw you and the lord said i should open that gate i lay my hands upon you i command the gates to be open be open right now be open right now in the name of Jesus Christ be open right now we're rounding up we're rounding up please this lady with a uh, yellow blue you come I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings i lay my hands and i remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of jesus christ i command uh -uh. i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you i'm praying for you but i'm seeing my hand on you jesus please visit them strange visitations in the name of jesus christ lift your hands please hallelujah hallelujah ah I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out listen I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family the Okalo family this is Okalo family Okalo family Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, 
I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka -ta -ta -ta. I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Tonight is a strange night Please receive every prophetic word That I'm going to pray for you Ah Just allow me to do one more thing The spirit of God I have not seen this in a while I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria And I see Benway State the spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway. Benway. Miracles. Locate them now. Oh God. People from Benway. Benway. Strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft. Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to Co, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? O to Pa or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles. Breakthroughs. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. Miracles. To Emo state. By the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, Cross River, help her, help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. The Minister of Signs and Wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says, I should tell you for shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He is bringing laughter to your life. For shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening... You don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. Now, now, that fair lady, come. This lady, kind, run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. 
whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus my dear look at me i saw you inside a cave and i'm surprised because we've paid for, for deliverance prayer and i saw you inside the cave you are just trying to push the door that's why i asked you to come out let me i don't know you do i know you where did you come from where where is that I don't know. Yes, Zaria. i'm going to pray for you god is bringing a major breakthrough two things god is going to throw somebody out of your life i'm not a prophet of group but it will happen he will reach three days huh? throw completely so that you can move forward i hold your hands in the name of jesus every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now in the name of jesus christ you need to love jesus with all your heart right you are a nice person but your relationship with jesus you can, you can get teachings after this but i want to prophesy on your life god is taking somebody not dead though just driving somebody out an unwanted person out of your life i prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i want to pray for you i don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray may god put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as god honors you i pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of jesus christ i activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray 
May, listen, listen. Hagar carried Ishmael and they were roaming around the desert. They said there was no water. But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace, that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata in the name of the Lord Jesus I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now take it I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny hallelujah two more prayer points and we are done hallelujah listen listen many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame may god raise a defense for you and finally i want to pray the prayer of jabez for you many of us ha, many of us have not studied honor is not money listen listen there are many rich people with no honor are we together there are many well-to-do people with no honor do you know what honor is Honor is when God anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation. So for every one person who talks nonsense, there are thousands. Honor. Jabez said, oh, the, the mother bore him in sorrow. You brought shame for me. So I call you Jabez. Honor is more than money, brothers and sisters. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise him.
Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.